probably get a moonstone around here somewhere. I mean, it's Mount Moon. They talk about moonstones from the moon and Mount Moon with Clefairies from the moon. Probably dance in the moon like you sing about the moon. Did they mention the moon and the moon landing? Yeah. Is that it? Uh, is this it? A rare candy. I don't want a rare candy. I want a moonstone. I don't want to talk to you. Moonstone? An escape rope. Inch, inch, inch. Go behind her. The music is fairly ominous. There should... Yep, an almost unavoidable trainer. Ah, and Zubats. I almost don't even want to select the things to fight it just because it's a zoo bat. Uh, uh, Rattata, I like. You see tons of Rattata, but I like Rattata. Zoo bat? Uh, I mean, if you teach it cut or something, so that it has something other than leech life. It is an okay Pokemon. I'll give it that. And it's a uh, flying poison. So if you have a poison team, you'll have a f one on it that knows fly. Oh, come on. This is the way out of here. It has to be, because it's all the way in the back. Yeah. Just run. Run. Okay, flop expeditiously. It worked. A moonstone. Excellent. Now we can get out of here. You guys will see Mount Moon in all of its Zubat filled glory in the next set. In this set, I'm just trying to get out of here without chewing Zubat's face off myself. I mean, I I just want to go all Silence of the Lambs on you right now, Zubat. Just let me leave. It's an RPG. We walk into people's homes all the time. It's okay. I know we just stole some very rare moon stone thing from the moon in Mount Moon that presumably came from the moon. But, you don't have to be that angry about it. It's not yours. You're a Pokemon. You don't own objects. Well, not until the next one, or the next game, when you get to hold objects, but in this one, you don't. So, no materialism for you. <sighs> Pokemon Vulcan. Okay, I know you don't have eyes, so I can't, like, complain about not being able to, to see the previous battle, but... I'm using fire here! You know, you could feel the flames of your former comrade as they hit the ground and turn to ash, or hear its screams of agony as it was set on fire. But no! No. You just rush straight towards me. I can understand, like, a moth Pokémon being attracted to Charmander because it's got a light on its tail, basically, and moths like light, but you're a bat. Thank you, Geodude, for breaking the monotony. We're going to run away from you now. You're very intimidating. With your curly hair. Yeah. It looks like it has curly hair. I much prefer the anime one, where it's kind of pointy and rock-like. Which is what later versions of Geodude look like. They look better. And another Zubat, yay. Just run. 
I don't care. I know it's not level 10 or anything, just just leave. Ah! Oh, don't get to zoom in. Okay, you just die. I, I, I spared the last one. It was a mistake. You should all die. Just all of you die. Ugh. And it uses leech life. Not very effective. Sucked health. Now you die. And it uses leech life again. Ember, burn it. Did Marduk gain a level? Vul no, Vulcan did. Now he's gonna try to evolve, and it's gonna be all awkward because he can't evolve not until he gets flamethrower, which is like level 30 something for some ridiculous reason. Ah! Ah! Uh. Fine, fine, fine. Just die. Please. I was just trying to leave after stealing priceless artifacts from your home. Which is a cave. Just... Ugh. Couldn't be a critical hit. Ugh. Ember... Alright. Yeah, if you guys aren't tired of hearing me complain about Zubats, there's gonna be a lot more of that, because we have to get through that cave. I might go back to Pewter City and get a repel. Just to make it that much less obnoxious. Yeah, I'm going to get a repel from Pewter City to make the traveling through the cave less obnoxious. We have one more cave to go through that will have tons of Zubat in it. It's the Rock Cave. It comes... later. We'll be catching our Machoke from there. Well, technically it'll be a Machop when we catch it, but we'll level it up. Hi, lady. You use Jigglypuffs, don't you? I remember you. Eek! Did you touch me? I'm miles away from you! You crazy woman! Last wants to fight? I knew it. You! Pokemon... We'll try Usagi. Disable? No. Okay. We'll lead off with a Poison Sting. It has a very, very low chance of poisoning the target. Hey, hey! It worked! Nice! Yep. The poison will do a little bit of damage every turn. And it was kind of pointless because if I would have used a Horn Attack, the battle would have probably been over by then. No? Okay. Are you... Oh! You disabled something useless. And now you die. Marta grew to level 8. Level 15. We defeated the last. That's it? Yeah. You lost. Route 4 is at the foot of Mount Moon. Thank you for the geography lesson. We talked to you? Yeah. We talked to these two already. I should have talked to you, because I can't avoid you, and you. So I think there's just two of you left. Hi. Hey, you're not wearing- Oh, God, you're like the guy on the ledge above you. Hey, you're not wearing shorts. I'll bet you're a youngster. Hey! Who called it? Youngster wants to fight. So, judging by the strange dialogue of the kid on directly above you, I'd say you two are probably friends who are both hanging out here. That's cool. Usagi, let's 
kill us a small sparrow. And we'll just go straight to the horn attack. Wait, what failed? I wasn't paying attention. Dang it! Peck. Horn attack. Woo! Alright. Lost, lost, lost! Oh, I always wear shorts, even in winter! You two are definitely friends who are hanging out here. Sorry you didn't take the loss very well, but you're a kid. You'll learn good sportsmanship. Hopefully. Hi, lady. You looked at me, didn't you? Ugh. Whatever. Yep, it's a lass, because all the lasses are apparently crazy for some reason. This is not going to go swimmingly. Is this bad? Not particularly. Okay, we can live with this. As long as it doesn't know quick attack. Yes! Perfect. I'm switching Usagi out just to get that horrible noise away. Fight Ember. Pitchy use Gus. Come on. This was incredibly one-sided. I mean, I was almost like twice your level. You are mean. Yeah, I kind of am. But you quit staring if you don't want... What? You're crazy. I'm leaving. Okay, so we battled all of the trainers. Uh, the next time you guys see me, uh, Usaki will be a Nido King. And uh, Marduk will be... Uh, Gyarados. Yeah. I'm just going to get them leveled all the way up and evolve them. So let's take a look at the TMs we found today. Thank you, your Pokemon are fighting fit. We hope to see you again. 34 we got from Brock. What's on 12? Water gun. We're not going to be using that. That's it. Okay. I will, however, buy those repels on camera, just so you guys can see that I bought them. Hi. I'm gonna buy stuff. You don't sell repels. That's terrible. What? Wait a minute. You gave me a clue about repels existing. Why would you do that if they don't sell any? You bought them all, didn't you? I... I'm glaring at you from beyond the fence. Hold still so I can glare at you properly. You move on a timer, don't you? No, nope, no, nope, you move randomly. Well, I don't like you. So, I'm Phil the Genetech. This has been Let's Play Pokemon Blue Manly Team. I hope you guys enjoyed the set. I had a blast recording it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.